Hey, welcome back to Base Grid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use an iPad, any iPad, as a second display to your computer. All right, so there's many of us that don't have a second display, so you can't just connect a second display, but you may have uh, an old iPad lying around that you can use as a second display, believe it or not. So whether you've got a Mac or a, or, or a Windows PC or a laptop, I'm gonna show you how you can connect. Now, the caveat is that there is an app involved here and you have to download the app. I think there is like a, a 999, um, fee for that app okay so one-off payment there is a pro version as well but we don't need to get into that so here I'm gonna jump to uh, the App Store and I'm gonna go ahead and type in duet display okay duet display once you open it up uh, this is what it looks like it just opens up it does ask you uh, do you want to sign in and so on and so forth you don't need to sign in for any um, updates but this is essentially what it looks like okay it's gonna um, open up and start looking for a connection now the way we connect this version of the app is through um, a wide connection okay so you're gonna need to have uh, you know a wide connection of a wire a cable that uh, is gonna connect your PC or your Mac okay to your iPad now this is an iPad Pro so I'm gonna need a USB-C port like this one here However, your old iPads are gonna need um, a lightning adapter. Now, what I've noticed is this cable, when I connect it to the PC, doesn't work, because this, although this is a charging cable, is not a data transfer cable, so this cable doesn't work. So my recommendation is uh, go ahead and use you know, the cable that came with your iPad, okay, to make sure that this setup is gonna work, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and use this cable here. And now, what you need to do on your computer, let me take you to the computer. So on your computer, your Windows or your Mac, okay, go ahead and go to Duet Display and download the drivers that you need, okay, the application that you need for uh, this to work. And the actual website you're gonna need is Duet Display. So go ahead and go to Duet Display. And then from there, you can download the Windows or the Mac OS drivers, okay? Uh, these are not drivers, these are the actual application downloads. So you will end up downloading either the Windows or the Mac OS. Now, for my Mac computer, Okay, I would obviously download the Mac drivers or the Mac application and for this Windows PC, I'm gonna download the Windows drivers. Okay, so once you've downloaded it and you've installed it, you'll have this little um, shortcut on the desktop and then you can go ahead and open it up. This is what it looks like. Okay, we're gonna go with the wide connection. So what I need to do is I need to connect the wire okay to from my computer to the iPad. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick in the cable here and I'll connect it to um, the iPad and you'll see what will happen is give it a second you're just going to recognize uh, that it's been connected and now it just configures it's gonna uh, yeah look so this pops up and it gives you the frame rate the performance and the resolution that the iPad is going to be displayed in and the iPad should connect immediately now there were a few issues that I run into. Number one, like I mentioned, the cable needs to be the correct cable. If you use any old cable like this one here, it's not gonna work because this is not a data transfer cable. So make sure you're using the, the right cable. Another thing is I had to install iTunes on um, the laptop in order for it to download the you know required drivers for it to recognize that the iPad was connected. Otherwise, before I did do that, it, it wouldn't, identify it that an iPad was connected because it didn't have the right USB drivers installed, okay? So one hint is go ahead and download iTunes if you are running into problems for connecting this. So anyway, this is up and running now. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and show you what this looks like. So here's some of the settings. We've got frame rate settings, so you can change this to 30 or 60 frames per second. 60 frames, obviously, choosing a higher frame rate will lead to a smoother display. Uh, but of course, more system resources will be used. Um, so that's entirely up to you. I'm gonna stick with 60 frames. And then performance, the high performance will result in a crispier image, but generally use more system resources. So you can change this from high energy efficient or pixel perfect. I'm just gonna stick with high there. And then it says the resolution, the higher the resolution provides a more higher quality uh, and a more crispy display. So you can go ahead and you can choose what resolution you wanna uh, display in. This is, uh, it automatically selects uh, 1366 by uh, 1024, okay? So I'm gonna leave it by that. So these are the settings that I've got. Um, what I can do is open up my applications. Now, before I do any of that stuff, what I wanna do is I wanna go to my display settings. So I'm gonna type in here display settings, 
Okay, let's go to the display settings. And you want to configure uh, where your second display is, okay? So from here, I can now see that my first display, this is my first display, the, the computer's the first display. I want to move this to this side here. I want to move it to the left-hand side because that's where my iPad is. So now I can uh, apply that. And now when I drag stuff to and fro, it will be on my left-hand side, okay? Otherwise, it will, it originally, it, by default, it's configured to um, be on the right-hand side. So I would have to drag on that side. So let me go ahead and show you what I can do with this now. So now that we've configured this, we can come out of uh, you know this setting here. So let's come out of here. And then you can do whatever you want to regularly do. So maybe we can go to Chrome, uh, and I want to start a Google Meet, for example, okay? So I'll type in here, uh, Google Meet. Okay, the benefit of doing this is because when you're teaching online or you're, you know, you're displaying some content here, the meet will take up your full screen and then your presentation might take up another screen. So it's very useful to have, you know, a dual display. Now, not everyone has, you know, like a second monitor uh, lying around, but a lot of people do have the iPad lying around. So for, you know, for 10 bucks, you can download this application and use it as a dual display. At the same time, look at this. My... Um, my cursor does work here. I can go ahead and I can click on things as well. So if I double click on that, it's going to open up um, the File Explorer. And it, it's opened up here, by the way. So the File Explorer is opened up on this side. I can go ahead and drag this across. So if I move this, I can drag this across here. Okay. And of course, you've got, because we're doing, we're on a Windows laptop, we've got, you know, split screen here as well. So you can snap it to each side. Okay, so we've started our call. It is using the webcam from um, the laptop, okay, but I've basically just moved uh, this tab onto this side here. Um, so if all my participants join the meeting, my parents or the teachers or whoever, you know, my students, I can see everyone on this display. And at the same time, I could carry on, you know, presenting my presentation here. So for example, if I had something open, you know, I can present a slide so that, you know, my participants can see the slide. When I go here, I can just go to present now. So I can go down to here, present now. Um, and this is touch enabled as well, by the way. Okay, so I can touch this and I can present like a Chrome tab. If I click on a Chrome tab, I can just select this Chrome tab here. So I can go to the area. So if I've got a whiteboard, I can use Apple Pencil to do the touch stuff as well. So here, if I now present this, if I come over here and I present my presentation, the students will see the presentation, I can see the presentation, and I can see all of my participants. So it's very useful to have a dual display when you're teaching online. Of course, you can use this for different applications as well. It's not just for Google Me and doing your online web conferencing, but since all of us are pretty much online, this is a very useful setup to have. Um, you might wanna change these around. So for example, you might wanna have your um, all your participants and your video here, and you might wanna have the presentation there. That would make more sense. So this setup would make more sense that you'd have all your participants here and you can have your presentation over here. We can, uh, at the same time, touch this display. So if, as, I, as I touch this display, it's changing over. Okay, I can use my Apple Pencil at the same time as well. Okay, so use my Apple Pencil. Go ahead and annotate on presentations at the same time. So if I was using a PowerPoint, I could annotate on this. If I was using a different application, I could annotate on it. Uh, and that's quite useful to have. So like that, I can have my presentation. This still functions, this still works, and I can have another application, maybe I've got my notes here, uh, and, and at the same time, I can see all of my participants, my videos on. This setup works the same on a MacBook, so if you had like a MacBook Air, an old one, then you would use a Duet Display to connect using the same configuration. However, if you do have like a MacBook, a, late, a later generation MacBook, then actually this works natively using Sidecar. As always, thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, then consider sharing it with a colleague. They may find it helpful as well. Consider subscribing for more EdTech videos. I'll see you in the next one.